When did disruptive innovation become so cool? Think of how Airbnb totally disrupted the hotel industry. Uber comes along, they're like, dude, we're gonna totally disrupt the taxi industry. And then Amazon, they're like, disrupt books and let's just take over the whole world, man. They're crazy, right? But disruption, why are we all about disruption? Is that the best path forward? Man, I love when the old comes back and is cool again. The return of vinyl, yes, man. The return of skinny jeans. Oh man, I'm not wearing skinny jeans. But how amazing is that? It's when the old, what was innovative, comes back into a new generation and a new era, it's innovative again. And people are like, skinny jeans, have you ever heard of skinny jeans? Man, they're the best. And I was thinking about this. Jesus was also a huge disruptor. Right? There's this moment in the Bible you read about how he gets into the temple and man, people are treating God poorly. And he comes and he flips over tables. He takes a whole bunch of animals. He's like, you be free, right? Total disruption, right? And there's other moments when religious leaders, he's just calling them out and he's stirring the pot. But here's the thing about Jesus. He didn't disrupt for disruption's sake. He came along to redeem it. See, I think we need to rethink this thinking of disruptive innovation. Instead, let's think of a new phrase, redemptive innovation. Redemptive innovation is when we look at what was old and we say, we want to now redeem it. We want to fulfill it. We want to make it better, right? Jesus came along. He didn't come to abolish the law or destroy the law. He came to fulfill the law, redeem the law and make it new. There's this verse in the Bible when it says, behold, I will make all things new. Jesus' mission is to redeem us, and it goes the same for technology. He wants to redeem technology, and our role as people in tech, using tech, thinking about technology, is to rather than think about it as disruption, we need to come along and we need to say, how do we redeem it? How do we take what we're building, take what we're using, take how we're engaging with technology and view it through a completely different lens and seek out how to follow Jesus in the way he views the world and how he will redeem technology? We need to do the exact same thing.